one of the biggest problems in winter time is actually consuming enough water because it's cold. I go mad, I go insane with why do they put water in the fridge in the winter when our body just doesn't want cold things, it wants warm things. wanted to shoot a quick short video on winter time and cleansing quite common January time oh, I've just overindulged therefore I've got to go on a cleanse it's probably the worst time <laughs> to do it but there are some great ways you can do it so I've also overindulged a bit during the Christmas time but I haven't gone purposely on a juice cleanse I see a lot of people doing juice cleanses water fasts in my opinion in the winter when it's cold it's so aggressive and if you really look at the Chinese medicine perspective looking at the five element theory winter's a time for kidney it's kind of like a cold energy so we've got to have lots of warming things having juices tend to be quite cold one of the biggest problems in winter time is actually consuming consuming enough water because it's cold. I go mad, I go insane with why do they put water in the fridge in the winter when our body just doesn't want cold things, it wants warm things. So a couple of things I'm doing and just wanted to share with you is number one, drinking lots of warm teas, herb teas, things like that. And what I'm currently doing at the moment, I wanted to do a cleanse protocol, but I wouldn't call it a cleanse. It's just a case of I'm just changing up my diet a little bit so I think again interrupting the patterns that we've always had introducing different and new patterns is a great way of consistently keeping our body so it's not getting used to the same things so I'm taking on a challenge I'll probably do it three to five days of just having liquid foods but keeping the density inside it the fiber inside it and having it warm because on my body wants the warm food in this cold weather and i just think it's so much more of a gentle approach and you're not suffering you don't have these headaches you might have moments so you get a bit sleepy like i did yesterday i had a bit of a crash my blood sugar's kind of slowly balancing out i didn't have much food during the day and then i had some food and then my blood sugar kind of rose up and then crashed so you might have circumstances like that depending on what you've been like in the past and you've been consuming a lot of sweet things like I had and so then your body's like oh, I just want to switch off so I allowed it to and just slept for 20-30 minutes and then I was fine that's what in terms of a winter protocol to take on those kinds of things not to take on these juice fasts and not knocking them i think they're great because they definitely give people an access to having a healthier lifestyle and they feel better definitely but i think in my opinion this is a far more gentle approach it's what much more aligned in the nature of the seasons and also what we're doing day in and day out and also supports us in our busy lives. So you don't have to rest as much as perhaps you should rest when you're on juice or just water. So I hope that's been useful. If you found this video useful, please post a comment below, share it, like it and go and like our page Imagine Radiance. We've got tons more videos coming your way. And if you're interested in living a long, healthy life, this is the place to watch and tune in. Thanks very much for watching.